You well, catching you a, a chicken? First, you have a stick with a long wire on there and a hook. Mom's catching a chicken here. Yeah. And then you get that, you get that hook in there. You get it around the leg and you pull it. Now you got the chicken. And All so you got to do is get a loop around the leg. Yeah. And so then you get the chicken. And then you got to kill it, don't you? <laughs> yeah, you have to cut the head off. What do you mean? You cut the head off? Well, yeah, you have to cut the head off. Did you? I did. And I was a little tiny kid. But I can remember them getting their heads cut off. <laughs> and then you had to drain the blood. You held them up like this for a while. And then... You By the legs? Yeah. After the head? Both the legs. Did they ever run away? No. None of mine did, but I heard Garrison Keeler talk. Explain Grandpa about talks it. about it. Uh, <laughs> Dad talks about it. Yeah. One running away, he couldn't find it, so he had to go kill another one because <laughs> he couldn't find it, ran away. You know, it's surprising. Apparently, they still kind of can do stuff even without a head. Yeah, so this one ran off. But anyway, then you get my legs and you dip them in a pail of boiling water. Mm -hmm. And that takes the feathers. Well, it's to supposed to loosen the, the feathers, but it gives it a horrible, horrible smell. Pluck those what kind of smell? A horrible, horrible smell. <laughs> and then the soldiers would, they clean the chickens up. And I don't know who cooked them, if it was mom or the soldiers, but it might have been my mom, she was good stuff. Yeah. She taught you how to make chicken and dumplings. Yeah. When I grew up. She's too busy cooking them to teach you. I was a little, little girl. Oh, my. Oh, I'm not talking about that. <laughs> I, I remember eating chicken and dumpling when I was a little, little boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Gotta have that cold chicken and cold rice cool down the soup. Yeah. So, anyway, so <clears throat> Carol.